Rescue, Data and Repair, my name is Dr. Ben. Happy, welcome to another video. And today I just want to show you something new out of the house JC. They have a new battery activation board. And um, we just do a battery swap on an iPhone 12 mini. Let's directly go, we switch to the top cam. Oh, I, I forgot something, Tim. So I have to switch again. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Thanks. So, and we just switch the cam, go to the top cam. What we have here is a iPhone 12 mini. And the iPhone 12 mini has actually battery capacity 87% and we have no error message. So it's original battery and we see the battery capacity. So normally if we switch the battery to a new one, we don't have the battery capacity anymore at all. And we see in the menu that the battery has been replaced and can't be verified as original Apple battery. Okay. We can even take another original battery out of another iPhone 12 mini place in here and we will see I can't verify that uh, the battery is right and you don't see battery capacity. For that you can use these tack on flexes for the battery. Battery tack ons like face ID tack ons and everything is tack on now but this uh, they were uh, already were, uh, have been there before the um, face ID tack on. Okay and we have another battery so I just wanted to show you because JC sent it, um, these things today for review and um, I didn't have a copy battery or anything here. The only thing I found for the iPhone 12 mini was that. And um, normally these stripes here are a little bit longer because we have to, to form the cable. But um, just for showing you how it works, we can do it. So what we have to do to get a working phone with no battery error message and with battery capacity is that we swap the BMS. This is the battery management system and it sits on the bottom of the battery in the flex cable. And then we have to take a new battery and set the battery management system to zero circles and 100% capacity. Because the battery data are stored in the battery management system and this sits in here. So it's not possible to copy the data out of the BMS and write it onto another flex and then get no error message. So that's not possible. We just do a quick um, trick. So we take the old BMS from the original battery which is serialized with the logic board and then we just reset that and add it to a new battery. So that's the thing I want to do with you today and I hope that you will like that and if you like that just give me a thumbs up, just subscribe the channel and just help us to make that channel bigger. Okay so JC sent some other tools too like the new Romeo IC, Universal IC for face ID repair. I will show that to you with enough, one of the next, vid uh, next videos and they were sending the new board for the front flex repair until to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So receiver flex repair. Um, I will show that to you with the next videos. Tim, is that pretty nice? Yes. Yeah, okay. What up? Amazing. Where's February? <laughs> so now we just need to take some methyl alcohol. The best of the best. And we can take out the battery then easy. As soon as the alcohol comes under the battery, it's just like really fucking easy to get this battery out. Okay. So then we just remove the glue and then we need to take out the BMS. So what we can do before is, so what some people do, what's not good is they just reset 
the battery count with this method. So in theory, and a lot of refurbishers of phones do that, and I really hate that. They just take an old battery like that. Let us say it has a capacity of 87% like now and about 3000 circle counts of loading the battery. Okay, so they just set that back to zero circles and to 100% capacity with this tag on. So they just reset the battery management system and you think, oh, my battery is fine, but your battery is the old one. So that's a big scam and that's something you shouldn't do. So, but if you want to switch the battery and you are not Apple certified, so we are Apple certified company. So if we change batteries on iPhone series, we don't do that. This is something I only do here in the video to show you how it works, okay? So we don't do that in the company here, the company here more normally. But if you want to do that because you are a repair technician, you have a repair company, you are not Apple certified and you want to do it like that. It's your own risk and you can do that if you want. So I do not recommend this at all. It's always like if you want to do, you can do it, but we switch original to original battery. So I just need to take a new, some new tweezers here. Don't have tweezers on this place, Tim. No, I have new ones here, so that's pretty okay. You have new tweezers in every video. Yeah, I, I know because always when I come from, from the other room and I forget my things here. So, we just need to get away the clue from the BMS, okay? The battery management system. I want to show you where it sits. Just remove that glue stripe here, okay? And you can see this here. Well, this here is the battery management system, okay? So, and we want to get access to the battery management system. So we have to do it in that way. So we have to lose I go under the microscope so you can see it better. Important, don't bridge them too. Otherwise, boom, you get fire then. So, and um, the next thing is, the microscope oh, the microscope doesn't want to work. Ah, I, I know, we often have this issue, Tim. You don't know that because um, normally I do these, um, I do these videos alone. So deactivate, activate, and then we should see the camera again normally. But that's not a big problem. That's really not a big problem. I have it often if I do my videos alone here. So, yeah. Deactivate, activate, and we are here again. So that's boomy. fine. Boomy, boomy, boomy. So what we see here, this here is the BMS and the BMS, the battery is soldered or it's welded to the BMS. So what you see here is just spot welded, okay? And if we connect this battery, the new battery to the BMS, we can weld that by spot welding or we can solder that by a special solder wire. In this video, I want to use a special solder wire for doing that, okay? So now I just take some ceramic tweezers. Why I do take ceramic tweezers? Because I don't have any um, fear to short circuit them too. If you take a normal tweezer and cut and you get these um, two points together, you are game over. So therefore I just use ceramic tweezers. They are pretty fine. So, and now we have the BMS here. We go under the microscope and have a look. 
So you see the BMS. Let us see. No, we don't get this away here. Not a big problem. Yeah, okay, this works. See, we can get this away from the BMS. Fine. Then we just add some flux. We activate the dust absorber to don't get cancer. And then we take this tool special solder wire for battery metal soldering. And we just add some small amount of this to the BMS. So. Then we just need to solder down the new battery contacts to the BMS. And you see normally they are longer and we have to, to sit it in a different way together. But just for showing you it's totally okay. This is an old battery which was laying here at the company. And I just want to show you how to swap the BMS and how to activate everything. So, and like you see, with this special solder we are fine. So we have connection. And everything is okay. Now we just have transplanted the BMS to the new battery. So, and normally we have to turn that now, but because this battery, um, these points were not long enough, so we don't turn it now. We just do it like that. It's just for the video here, just for showing you how to transplant the BMS. And I just isolate that here one time. It's like I said, it's just for that video here. And what we can do now is take in the V1S Pro. And um, I really use that machine more than before the last time. Tim, the autofocus of the camera is, uh, is bad. So last times I really use that machine more often because of the last updates and um, really a lot of functions are working good now and I'm really fine with it. Now we just connect the battery with the transplanted BMS and we see that we have a cycle count of 514. We have a um, battery life circle uh, 86% in the system we saw 87 so um, it just can change a bit that's not the problem. So now we just read the battery data and we take this battery tag on flex So again, data read OK. And now we just connect the tag on flex and the BMS to the tag on. And we say write data. We need to wait until we see that we have the here. OK, we see it now. And CU chip is actually not activated. We just burn that and then we just say we want to activate it. So now activate, reading, all like before and now we just say we want to go to zero cycles and now it goes up from 514 and we are at zero. So this battery is new and now battery lifetime and you can even say um, custom so I can give it 150% of lifetime in theory don't make sense for me I just set it to 100% now and now we see we have cycle count zero we have 100% um, battery life time and now we can just get this battery with the tag on flex into that phone and have a look if this 
works fine. Let's see if we boot the phone, if we have 100% of capacity and no error message at all. This would be very fine. And you see, if you are fast with this, it's just some minutes and you can change the battery um, with no issues and don't get any error messages in the best way. Let's see if it's really like that, if it's really like JC tells us. It works fine, they say. So um, let's have a look for 100% battery capacity. Oh, I'm really, I'm really happy for doing this and for for checking this if it really works. So now swipe up, get in the code, go directly to the settings, swipe down to battery. We see no battery error message. We can check the battery capacity. 100%! <laughs> Boomy! 100%! And just for you as information, as a little quick turnaround, if you swap the BMS, write the tag on flex and mount it, it can be that you don't see the maximum capacity 100%, okay? The, the turnaround or the workaround for doing that, what you have to do then is just take a battery out of another iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 or 12 Pro, no matter if it's original or not, connect it, boot up one time, take out and reconnect this battery and then you will see the right capacity. If it's like that, do it like that. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm really happy that we got another JC product which works pretty fine and we want S Pro actually totally recommendable. Again, don't forget to and I say it again, don't forget to subscribe the channel. I'm out, yours Dr. Ben, and now weekend.